This is the Sony CFDS70, which my grandmother acquired recently uh, to transfer some audio cassettes, uh, specifically two of them, um, because her General Electric uh, handheld tape recorder was giving her some issues, and these tapes are of an interview with my great on sorry, not my girl, um, my great grandfather. Well, one of them is the other one's actually of my aunt singing as a baby. So, a relative, um, the one who conducted the interview, taped over part of this with some Spanish, but you can hear him talking. And this interview was recorded on a presumably handheld tape recorder in 1992. <clears throat> and like I said, her GE mono handheld tape, well, portable tape recorder, was just given out. So she got this store, and I'm liking it so far. It's an interesting mix of cheap but good materials. The casing is incredibly cheap plastic. The CD door feels very flimsy. But you have the tape deck of stereo. Playback and recording. Just some recordings I made using this thing, my phone, and an aux cord. Speakers on it ain't the best, um, though there is mega bass. Just makes it sound, I'm not even sure if mega bass makes it sound better or worse. Thing's got CD player, which I have not tested out yet. It's got AM FM radio with some decent reception, especially on the AM side. I mean, um, well, yes, next Monday, uh, their union did give a legally required 10 day notice that it intends to strike if all sides cannot agree on a contract for those other nurses at the seven other hospitals. Which is getting this advance notice to arrange for backup staffing if it comes to that. That'll be CBS News time, 10:07. We'll get the traffic and weather together in a minute. But yeah, there's WCBS 880. There's the BHAS Louisville. There's the BAC. Let's see if I can get Zoomer Radio. I'm typically be getting Zoomer Radio right now, 740 CFZM out of Toronto, but I'm not. I'll put this back on WWVA. I don't particularly like the station, it's just it's the only clear channel station in West Virginia. I'm currently in Romney. On the FM side of things, FM. Oh, your favorite stations! Or only on There's WVXS. They're silent. I get it, Lily 106.7. Not getting WCMD. Oh, not WCMD. WCBC, excuse me. Is that even Kitty K? Let's 
see. Drizzle, 46 degrees in White Plains. We're in LaGuardia, 55. I guess I might have just clicked through too quick. Again, I can't see the screen, but it... this is better than some units I've seen, which use DSP-based tuners but have an analog tuning knob. There's Kitty K. Apparently coming in, but there's Caleb um, from your Kaiser. Well, you see, it's true. There's Spirit 101, big whoop. Magic Hunter point five. I'm forgetting the call sign for that. WVMD's not coming in good. That's weird, because their transmitter's right here in town. Transmits from Romney. It's trying to pull in the DZN. You can record from all inputs. Case in point, I actually managed to get the Toth ID for 10 p.m. tonight from WWVA. Not there yet on this tape. It's, it's actually a commercially produced uh, tape. It was some country compilation from uh, 1982, 83, I think, from MCA. Um, so it's about 40 years old, and I taped over it. Because I... I only listen to a little bit of country, and I tend to listen more on the country rock side of things. Not like that. Of course, no soft touch full logic controls here, but honestly, what do you expect? I mean, really, no boombox has had those, as far as I know. Um, this is one of those units where pause is on the left, records on the right. Um, and you insert your tape with the tape stock up. There's no, um, slow release door, it's just blam, there it is. But it gets the job done, at least it's stereo and it doesn't sound half bad. Especially if we'll get up to some better speakers. Uh, no Dolby NR, because I don't think Dolby licensed to this in 2016 when this unit came out. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you could theoretically add in Dolby NR as well as EQ for better tape types to software, like Codex and Windows or something, but hmm. at that point, you're just grasping at straws. I mean, this isn't going to be any Nakamichi Dragon Killer, but it's not trying to be. This unit's just trying to be an adequate thing for folks that occasionally want to listen to tape or CDs. And for that, Honestly, I would say it does pretty good. I mean, this does everything I need a tape deck to do. I'd like something better. Um, I give like some more tape support and stuff, and hopefully I can get one of those one day. But again, my grandmother just bought this because she forgot that she had her little GE tape recorder, but it was breaking anyway. Um, and this is more than enough to transfer just some voice recordings using Audacity, and that can even clean up the audio. But on the World Wide Web. Got uh, aux input on the left side. You can switch over to the input. Useful. Again, like I said, I've done some Recordings to tape. I'm using it, and it works fairly well. Mm -hmm. 
I do not want to get a DMCA, much less for that song. <laughs> <coughs> See, here's a two-pronged power cable. It's not a figure eight lead, but I mean, it can accept figure eight plugs, but it's not a figure eight socket. It's just the fact that it's two-pronged. When you come <coughs> the dropouts and quality drops you're hearing are again just because this is an old older tape that was not stored in good conditions. I'm not sure if any of the CDs I've got lying on top of my XP machine here have music on them. I think a couple of them might be MP3 discs. Um, or at least just might instantly have MP3s on them. So we'll see if this thing can read any of them. Oh, power lead popped out. And it's a little bit of an issue on this. Yes, Moby, I hear you. Can't read that disc. Might be a DVD. Might be one of the Sendero map discs. Let's try this. This is one of the ones you actually have to snap the disc onto the spindle. Um, <coughs> as opposed to the classic Sony boom boxes, which use magnets. Oh. Congratulations on your purchase of an OnStar equipped vehicle. To begin, take a moment to film with our beard on video or near the radio display. Your on. I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure that older units tended to have a lot faster syncing. I need to transfer this disc and put it up on YouTube. I transferred the disc for the vehicle across, so I need to do this one as well. It includes a cool um, XM satellite radio promo. Did you know that you may have the ultimate radio in your vehicle? If your GM vehicle is equipped with XM satellite radio, you can expand your listening choices by over 130 channels, including 68... So let's try dubbing this track to tape. It should automatically start playing. Yep. I'm not sure if it had enough time to get through the leader there, but the I did notice though, vehicle? Sony units, whenever you push record, it automatically starts playing the disc, and it tends to give a little bit of time for it to get past the leader, which is kind of cool. ...by over 130 channels, including 68 100% commercial-free music channels. To start your XM experience, press the band or aux button. If the XM band is selected, you'll hear XM right away. The artist and song title will be displayed on the radio faceplate, so you'll know immediately what's playing. What are you waiting for? Press the band or aux button to begin your great XM radio experience. You at XM Radio. Over the next three trial months, you'll have an opportunity to enjoy all that XM has to offer. And XM will become a must-have addition to your life. No matter what your listening taste, you'll quickly discover that XM is all about variety. From blues to news, rock to reggae, mainstream to alternative, you'll find that there really is something for your every mood. Even Christian gets the rap. You can drive to the sounds of MTV, VH1, the Hear Music Channel, the voice of music at Starbucks, CNN, Fox News, ESPN Radio, NASCAR Radio, and the newest addition to the XM lineup, XM Public Radio, featuring the Bob Edwards Show every... Let's try another disc. I said, expect to transfer that OnStar disc eventually. 
They should have put like a rubber stop or something on this lid. Oh. Look, I didn't read that desk, but we can take a listen to the transferred track to cassette. One thing I noticed, despite this thing having at least stereo audio on the tape side of things, it doesn't have auto stop for rewinding to fast forward. It has it for playing and recording. But if it just stops. Oh, I guess I didn't record at the beginning of the tape. Shut up, Hadaway. I don't want a copyright claim. I'm probably already getting one. As long as you can't do with this thing like you can with the uh, APH tape deck, so you can actually hold down rewind to fast forward. To begin your... Yeah, sometimes the play button on this one's iffy, but I think it's just this. Did you know that you may have the ultimate radio in your vehicle? If your GM vehicle is equipped with XM satellite radio, you can expand your listening choices by over 130 channels, including 68 100%. So yeah, I'd say that's a success. Switch back to the CD mode. So you can also play MP3 discs. And I think that's a DVD ROM. Again, I can't see the discs, because not only it's dark in here, but you know, I'm blind. You know? You'd also run this, you know, on the go on 6C batteries. Hey, permanent waves. Looks like I'm not listening to Permanent Wave. Sucks. That's encroaching on my favorite cut on the album. Enter now, Snoss. I don't know how the hell you pronounce it. My favorite cut on the disc. But overall, I would say this unit gets a 7 out of 10. It's, it's not an audiophile grade piece of equipment, but it's not trying to be. This thing's just trying to be adequate for folks that need to listen to discs or tapes. Yeah, maybe their old unit, just maybe their old Iowa double tape deck boom box from 1995 finally bit, finally, you know, kicked the bucket. Well, I'd say, you know, as long as you don't need double tape anymore. I'd also say this is a suitable replacement for most things, and it's good enough for the vast majority of people. You know, it's not good enough for the upper, for the up, you know, for the upper one percent. But again, it's not trying to be. This thing isn't trying to be the Cadillac Eldorado of the cassette world. This thing is just trying to be a Chevy Spark. It's small, and it doesn't have everything you need, but it'll get you there, and it'll get the job done. Uh, anyways, this video turned out being a lot different than I intended. I just wanted to be just a little overview and demonstration. Turn out to kind of be my thoughts on it. But thanks for watching. There's a lot better reviews on this unit. And, but thanks for watching. What have you done with your life?